Hello, and welcome back to Vintage Fan Gaming. Uh, we are going to continue our exploration of the Mojave Wasteland today. We're finally getting out of Good Springs. I sold all my stuff to Chet, and we're going to do the road to Prim today. We're not actually going to get to Prim. We're just going to do everything on the road to it. Um, so while we're walking to our first thing, which I think you guys will enjoy. Let me uh, just talk a little bit about the Desert Rangers and what I'm trying to model my character after. The Desert Rangers are an organization in Wasteland uh, that was founded right after the atomic bombs fell in that universe by when a bunch of Army uh, Corps of Engineer guys took over a prison. They kicked out all the prisoners, sent them out into the Wasteland, took it over, and I've been protecting the wasteland ever since. Now, that's all well and good, but, you know, how they do it is they send out little ranger teams. And they're really consisting of about four people. And really, each team's independent. They're able to, you know, uh, do things as they see fit, act independently. But if they do get out of hand, like, say, murder, start murdering towns and whatnot... Oh, there's some gecko stuff in here. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, if they do start murdering towns and whatnot, the uh, rangers will send a special ranger team after them. So it's not advised to just start being a jerk to the wasteland. It really is incentivized to help you. You are supposed to, you know, help the wasteland around you. All right, I think he's in this. The guy, first person we're gonna meet today is in this trailer so yep he is so let's talk to him hello can you help me yeah sure what's up my girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge and i can't get to her please she's going to die where is she go up the path past the broken radio tower and go to the right they're at the top of the trail. I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. Hey, right, that guy seems totally on the level, and I should definitely help him. So let's go up past the broken radio tower. Hello, broken radio tower. Prepare to do battle. After getting the raw glare. I'll take it. That was cool. I did the special attack uh, without being in vats. I've never accidentally done that before. I'll take it. Alright, so far so good. Not that much damage. Yeah, the trick with geckos is you just gotta keep moving. At this level, they actually do a fair amount of damage. And I'm just going to sneak past a couple of them here. So usually there's one over here. Sometimes he gets stuck in the rock. Yeah, it looks like he got stuck in the rock. Ha. Yeah, he got stuck. Oh, hey, he got unstuck. Come on, where'd he go? Gecko eggs, eh? Maybe you can make gecko omelets. Alright, there's some more gecko over here. Gecko eye.
Sunset Tasperillas for some health. Yeah, just keep moving. That's really the key here. Alright, well, we scared off one. Oh, looks like he stepped on the... Uh, God, that'll make that easy. Looks like he stepped on the... Uh, Alright, this should get him. Sometimes the bat teleportation gets him, sometimes not. Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. No. Found oh, come on. Come on! You should end up a lot quicker than I was expecting, bud. did a lot more damage on me than normal because he normally doesn't come up here until you uh, get all the stuff from up there but I guess it registered it's me having gone up there which I definitely did not do oh, that's a reference here Oh wow, I'm really close to uh, level 3 here. Leveling up on disarming a trap. Okay, I'll take that. Let's get that up another point. Alright, uh, guns, I want it up to 40. Hmm. Uh, let's see, then I wanted to do lockpick. I wanted to start getting that up to 30. Alright, let's heal. Uh, oh well, that used up a lot more of my uh, machete than I was expecting. Oh well, looks like we've still got our shovel, which is always good to have. And our single shotgun, which I don't find very useful for dealing with human NPCs. But dealing with geckos and other wildlife, yeah, this gun's really, it works really well. Alright, hunting takes a little patience, but you know, there's some more geckos over here. Plus, if I remember correctly, there's an unmarked location for uh, a bunch of brock flowers. Well, that should help me deal with him. I 
I'll take it. Alright, uh, there's a location up here. I forget what that is. Oh, it's the radio station. I was like this on survival's characters. Because it has a wasteland survival guide. It's also useful for scrap electronics and other stuff. Um, should you uh, want to get up Edie or Eddie? I think you know, they want you to pronounce it Edie, but I always pronounce it Eddie. Or Eddie, but I always pronounce it Edie. Um, so we got that. Usually there's, okay, I was going to say, usually there's more, uh, gecko around here than this, but there we go. Full health runs away, and that one doesn't. All right. Almost dead. There we go. Where's Prim? I usually go up. Oh, there's the Brock Flower. Okay. I thought I missed a you know, turn off for this, but yep, it's right here. I think this might have been one of the craters for a bomb impact. Because it's an irradiated crater. And there's a bunch of this Brock Flower going around it. Like, it's one of the biggest concentrations in the game, as far as I know. Sounds like another gecko. Goodbye, my gecko friend. Huh, there's still some geckos. Yeah. He's bloody and scary looking. Yeah, some more jalapeno. Yeah, looks like a rat roach got killed here. So yeah, it looks like we did that side of the highway to Prim. I'm going to do this side of the highway, the east side of the highway next. I hear a gecko. Oh, there it is. Uh, you're not a gecko. You're not a gecko at all, but you are one of my favorite things to kill. Uh, it's good for that. See, what do I got in terms of... Alright, I got plenty of ammo for that. Ah, I missed. Come on! Every little bit of experience points this early in the game matters. Yeah, I never really look around for that many uh, health or that many uh, like plants and stuff. But yeah, there seems to be a lot around here.
Look, some more jalapeno. And some barrel cactus fruit. I don't know what all this is used for, but we will find out. Thought I heard something. Yeah, there's just some light hunting in this area. Gonna return towards the highway a bit. Yeah, there's some gullies in here. I'm not sure if there's anything like useful. I've never actually done that much searching around here. But I don't know if there's anything useful to be found. I rarely come to this section of the map. Oh, hey, powder gangers. Go wipe them out. I have my machete for really quick attacks. Mm. I'll take that. Ah. Uh, yeah, I just whacked one in the head. Oh, wow. Tanned? Really? Huh, that's cool. I, know, I picked up everything. Thank you for that. Wow. Alright. Sure, why not? That's cool. I don't think I've ever made a tanned... Huh. Alright, looks like that glitch cleared up. Oh no, that's useful either. Two more healing counters. And a bunch of gecko sick. I love how all this is Mark Stealing. The note reads, not many patrols out here lately, which means there's not much loot. Our cursing and making moves short. Tracks for all the tracks north towards the strip. You in? Uh, ain't on the chain game anymore, but we gotta stick together. Yeah. I mean, I guess everyone be avoiding this place because they're, you know, powder gangers are running around here. Whoa! Oh, I forgot about powder gangers and their love of mines. Alright. So let's continue. There's another uh, mark location up here. Uh, say all these ruins. Sometimes there's some randomly good stuff. Yeah, four bobby pins. That's nice to have this one early in the game. Grimy pre orbit. No oh, thanks. Ah, Gene Skydiving. What's over here? Something. I've got you now. Something unfriendly. Oh, these guys. Yeah, that makes sense. Come on! You like that? Apparently the shovel's really powerful in the early game here. Alright, Gene Skydiving? Alright, let's take a look inside. Oh, this isn't a very big location. Yeah, it didn't take any time to load here. I wonder if that works. Yeah. Cleaver. That's a good melee weapon to have. I think that's it here. Um, I 
There's usually more geckos to hunt. I was surprised I didn't see that many. Uh, but I think that wraps up the road to Prim. Uh, next time we will go into Prim and see what that town has in store for us. I hope you have an excellent day. I'll catch you on the next one. Remember, if you like this, like, subscribe. Uh, we will be doing one of these a day for the rest of the playthrough. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.